Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Mike Davies and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to create the halftone effect using GIMP. I'll be using GIMP version 2.10.22 which is the latest version of GIMP at the time of this tutorial. Before I get into that, don't forget to check out my website at daviesmediadesign.com. As always, I have tons of GIMP, Inkscape, and Darktable tutorials on here. You can get more by becoming a DMD Premium member, and I have tons of free software help articles, so definitely check that out. You can enroll in my GIMP 2.10 Masterclass from Beginner to Pro Photo Editing on Udemy. And as I mentioned, you can get more by becoming a DMD Premium member, and I'll include a link to this as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. I'll be using this free photo from Pexels for today's tutorial. I went with the large download, just click free download. Here is one example of what you can create with this effect, and here is a simpler example. This is super easy to do in GIMP thanks to some built-in tools, so let's dive right in. So here is my original photo. I open this by going to File Open and searching for the image on my computer. Next, I'll come over here and I'm going to duplicate the original photo. And working on the duplicate, I'm gonna to go to Filters, Distorts, Newsprint. So there are a variety of settings you can use with this tool. I do go over them in more detail in the premium version of this tutorial. But the most common way to use this filter is to set the color model to either white on black or black on white. And then come down here to the tab under black and change the pattern here to circle. That's going to give you that sort of comic book or newspaper look. And you can use the period or angle sliders to increase the size of the dots here and also change the angle of the dots. So you want to find a happy medium here for the size because you don't want this to be too small. Obviously that'll just make it white. And in this case it'll just show way too much detail in my opinion. And too large won't show enough detail. So find a good happy medium here. About right there looks good and the angle can be whatever you want. And you can also middle click on here with your mouse wheel and manually change this. So I could type, for example, 75 and zero. Or I can also use this option here, the little wheel. But if I hit the enter key, that will apply that angle. The quality is just to smooth out these circles a little bit. It doesn't really do much in this case. It's supposed to emulate the way ink smears on newspaper, but it doesn't really have that much of an effect here inside a GIMP. I recommend keeping this set to 16. And the effects down here are mostly to add a little bit of turbulence or noise to this, so I don't recommend using any of those. But once you're ready, come over here and click OK. And there is your basic halftone effect. You can color in these dots to make them whatever color you want them to be using a simple trick. And we can do that by going to Colors, Color to Alpha. So what this is doing is it's turning the white background color to an alpha channel, or in other words, it's converting white to transparency. And so I'll come over here and click OK. And now this is interacting with the original photo below, but I can come down here, create a new layer. And it's already named white because I did this earlier. I'm going to fill this in with white and click OK. So that brings back our white background. And what we've essentially done is separated the dots from the background. Now I'll come back up here to the layer with the halftone dots. I'm going to lock the alpha channel. And now I can convert these to whatever color I want, for example, Let's go with a cyan color. So if I click and drag this onto here, now these dots are cyan. I can also change the background color. So let's come over here. Let's go with magenta for one color and we'll change the background color to yellow. So we have magenta and yellow. Let's grab the gradient tool and making sure this is set to foreground and background RGB and the shape right now I have set to radial. I can click and drag this. And that's going to give us a cool background color. So I'll hit the enter key. And if we wanted this to be more visible, we can come back up here and change this to black again. So I'll reset my colors, click and drag black on here. And there you can see the result of that. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can also check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.